Well, it was simply a horrific crash. This past June, a man trying to get away from police after a robbery in Beach Grove ran a red light in Fountain Square. Three cars collided. One woman died in that crash, which critically injured her grandson. Well, tonight we're learning that that 11-year-old boy is making progress. Eyewitness News reporter Naomi Peskovitz spoke with him, his family, and his doctors about how far he's come in the last few months. When John Rogers first arrived here at Riley Hospital, his prognosis wasn't good. Doctors weren't sure if he would walk or even survive, but now, progress. Looks like John smiles a lot. What does he usually smile? Though his smile hides his pain, John Rogers Anything, really. isn't afraid to show it. Anything makes him laugh. <laughs> See? You laughing already? A little stinker. <laughs> Five months ago, on the way to school, John's life almost ended at the intersection of Prospect Street and State Avenue. One, two, three. Now, the 11-year-old is at a much different crossroads. This is a uh, injury that a few years ago was very rare to survive. And to be out of bed, uh, to be moving, uh, is, is, is tremendous. The impact of that crash caused severe injuries to John's brain and spine. This is the MRI, which basically shows that all the supporting structures holding his head on top of the spine are torn and damaged. So there's nothing keeping his head on top of his neck. The accident killed John's grandmother. His mom was injured too. Two, three. After surgery and during months in the hospital, John worked hours every day on physical speech and occupational therapy. He even impressed his doctors by sitting up on his own, relearning how to use his voice, and even walking 20 feet with a walker. You can do all the therapy you want, but you have to have someone who wants to get better, and I think it's a testament to his spirit that he put in the effort. Even though it's often painful. John's dad says the smile we saw wasn't just for show. Long haul. Lot of work, ain't it? A lot of work in it. What you laughing about? Me? He tries. He tries hard. As long as he keeps trying. Someday, John hopes to play basketball again and walk on his own. His eyes and heart set on the future. John? All right. Thank you, Naomi Peskovitz at Riley Hospital tonight. Now, the man police say that was involved in that accident that caused the crash, 22-year-old Matthew Edmonds, he is facing several charges now, including reckless homicide. He's due back in court next month.